Matt Milano out indefinitely with a torn bicep. I'll admit it, I was completely wrong in my last video doing the highlight clip of it. He is out for at least four months from my research here. Big time loss for the Buffalo Bills, but in this video, I wanna explain that it's not all over and that we're actually in a better position this year than what we were last year regarding this injury. And obviously, we didn't have Matt Milano last year. This was just gonna be an added bonus for the Buffalo Bills. We really made it to the eight, like deep into the playoffs without Matt Milano with a rookie Dorian Williams last year, considering that Dorian Williams has been under Matt Milano this all off season. He had a lot of game experience, creating those memorable moments on the football field. Dorian Williams is gonna be the best version of himself here in 2024 for the Buffalo Bills. And this is a huge opportunity for him. I think Dorian Williams, he's athletic, he's agile, he's quick, he's good in coverage. I think some of the concerns maybe against the run being a little bit undersized. That's something that we spoke about last year, but this is still a big time loss for the Buffalo Bills. Matt Milano under Bobby Babbage and Sean McDermott in a somewhat transitional year here. You know, you would think we would have had Matt Milano, the, the leadership having Terrell Bernard and Matt Milano on the field at the same time, but four months, Matt Milano is going to be gone I think this is definitely a big loss. I mean, I'm anticipating a deep playoff run. So, I mean, it's August, September, October, November, December. I mean, you're talking Matt Milano could make a reappearance late in the playoffs um, or around the playoffs, you know. So this is, this is a huge loss for the Bills, but not all is lost for the season. Um, you know, and again, Dorian Williams is there to back up Matt Milano. We even have Balin Spector. I mean, last year it was Terrell Bernard, and we had to ultimately call up A.J. Klein in that final game to play. And, you know, obviously this is just a huge, huge loss for the Bills. Um, and I was really looking forward to seeing Terrell Bernard and Matt Milano play. But um, for me, I think one other problem with this is the fact that we really need to step up from all the players that we're transitioning from. You know, you consider the losses on defense with Micah Hyde, with Jordan Poyer, with Trey White, moving out on from these players. Really, like the only old heads on this team was Matt Milano and also Taron Johnson. Um, you know, it's just very, very different now. Taron Johnson clearly going to be leading the way for this defense in 2024. Uh, hopefully the communication is smooth and everything pans out. But this is just a raw reaction here. I literally found out about Matt Milano, uh, Matt Milano minutes ago, minutes ago. And again, in my previous video, you can highlight the clips that we saw on practice, at practice. I think, um, you know, you could clearly see it. I think he was definitely in a lot of pain. I made the assumption by him shaking his arm and, you know, it, I guess it is torn. It is torn and he's going to have to have surgery and miss quite a bit of time. But uh, again, not all is lost for this season. Really, really high hopes for the Buffalo Bills in, in 2024. You know, Terrell Bernard is going to be much better. You know, you have to reflect back to where we were at this point last year, right? You reflect back and you see that we didn't even know who we were going to have as a starting middle linebacker. And, you know, we thought it was going to be Tyrell Dotson. And sure enough, Terrell Bernard, who was injured all throughout training camp, all throughout the preseason, comes out of nowhere. Sean McDermott makes the decision. You know, Sean McDermott deserves a lot of credit. He deserves a ton of credit here and Brandon Bean. But he makes the decision to put Terrell Bernard as the starting middle linebacker without any really game experience or preseason snaps comes in as clearly the solidified starter at middle linebacker for the Buffalo Bills foreseeable future, you know? And yes, last year we did have Terrell Bernard at Milano working together early in the year, but Terrell Bernard was not where he was at. And I think Matt Milano definitely helped him progress and we were looking forward to that relationship growing in 2024, but um, unfortunately it's not gonna be there until way late in the playoffs. And who knows, by that time, Dorian Williams, he could be balling out. And I think like last year, Dorian Williams, 
he did I think he did fairly decently against the pass occasionally he got he got confused and was just out of position I would say at times uh, but again a rookie like he's going to be so much more progressed for the Buffalo Bills uh, this upcoming season and like last year being a rookie not having any experience Sean McDermott making the decision that hey look from day one Dorian Williams is not going to compete for the middle linebacker position probably because Sean McDermott understood what we had in Terrell Bernard and I would say that you look at it and making that decision of having Dorian Williams as a rookie strictly focus on the same position as Matt Milano really helped us out for when Matt Milano went down because Dorian Williams was pretty much as good as he was going to go uh, for when that time came. And, you know, and seeing that <laughs> this year, we're going to need him again. We're going to need Dorian Williams really bad this year to step up for, for the Buffalo Bills at that spot. Um, and I, I know there's things that we could do to supplement it. Um, you know, obviously, big nickel, right? Um, and, and just getting in better downs and distances, pretty much, I would say, you know. Uh, but the Buffalo Bills, man, this is definitely going to be tough. Such a huge loss for the Buffalo Bills. Matt Milano still kind of recovering from his knee as well. Like a lot of people were assuming he might not even return to be fully himself because of his leg. And we saw it during training camp, he had a few days of, of practice in a row, and you could tell there was still, um, you know, maybe some stiffness. I, would, I wouldn't, you know, still just trying to flex things out a little bit. So, you know, tr understanding that, you know, Matt Milano, it is a bicep. It's not like another leg injury where he can't continue to work on that injury that he had with his leg on that dirty London turf. Um, but I, I think... Matt Milano is still going to get better. I think by the time he comes back late December, early January, something like that, I'm hoping for. I think that's a realistic timeline uh, to, to say for the Bills. I think, you know, Matt Milano is going to take the NFL by storm and could just be that, that piece that puts us over the top. You know, like late in this season like that, you just – you're looking for answers. Like we bring in Linval Joseph last year. We bring in these other players um, just to get another little boost, another little spark, you know. And Matt Milano could very well be that nice little spark come come the playoffs here in Buffalo. Home field advantage. We got Josh Allen, baby. Matt Milano, heal up, bad boy. I know you're going to be good. But I appreciate you guys all so much. I think Buffalo Bills are going to be just fine. Could very well still end up Super Bowl champs. Appreciate you. Make sure you hit like, subscribe. Check the links in the description too. The BNC Chicken Wing. We have free shipping, different colors, sizes small through 5XL. Um, even course careers too. Check the link in the description. You guys are considering a career change, whatever it is. You get $50 off that link. That's personally how I landed my full-time job. That's why I want to promote it to you guys. You know, live a more fulfilling life, increase the income, work remote, whatever you want. They got it. Hit like, subscribe, and go Bills.